Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Paulina's persevering correspondent issue homecoming party Chad's disclosure Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers for Thursday, Walk 21, uncover that Jada Tracker, Elia Cantu, will attempt to break through to Harris Michaels, Steve Burton, with regards to his affection life and the potential for catastrophe. Since Jada feels like Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, is awful information, she'll ask Harris not to demolish his future at the Salem PD over his association with the Mafia Princess. In the meantime, Chad DeMera, Billy Flynn, will make an upsetting revelation when Stefan DeMera, Brandon Barish, appears seeming to be a plastered wreck. Stefan plainly tracked down some place to suffocate his distresses the previous evening, so Chad will have his hands full. Day spoilers say Chad will be a decent sibling and proposition some supportive counsel, so he might pry a few responses out of Stefan and ask him to take Harris's arrangement over AJ DeMera's, Dan Furigal. Soon Stefan is set out toward the Salem PD, so EJ will get a few shocking updates when Chad probably uncovers that Stefan handed himself over. Nonetheless, things may not work out as expected since Stefan appeared to be prepared to bring Ava down with him the last time Day's fans saw him. Stefan should guarantee Ava was a constrained, reluctant member in all the Clyde Weston, James Reed, show, yet he might conflict with Harris on that part before the week's finished. Meanwhile, Day's spoilers say Leo Distinct, Greg Rickard, will think about his next tattle section, so he'll run into somebody who could possibly help him. Scott Evans is an anchor on Access Hollywood and the host of Couple to Thruple on Peacock, so search for him to make a little visitor appearance as a columnist in Thursday's DOL show. It turns out this columnist will be attempting to dog Paulina Value, Jackie Harry, Abe Carver, James Reynolds, and Kayla Johnson, Mary Beth Evans, for an assertion as Paulina is let out of the medical clinic. There might be developing buzz about Abe and City Hall leader Value because of their twofold marvel, so Leo could get a fantastic thought for his tattle segment subsequent to conversing with this other journalist. Then, Paulina will be blessed to receive a serene homecoming party when she returns to her loft, where Abe will formally move back in too. After Johnny DeMera, Carson Boatman, and Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, rap setting up the little invite home slam, Paulina and Abe ought to be delighted. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Paulina will commend this fresh start with Abe close by, so stay with us for additional expectations on the section ahead. New hot couple in Salem Sloan and Stefan's heartfelt potential? Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers and reports bother there could be another hot couple in Salem, assuming the showrunners choose to attempt them. What about testing Stefan DeMera, Brandon Barish, and Sloan Peterson Brady's, Jessica Surfity, heartfelt potential? Days of Our Lives spoilers, the two relationships appear to be set out toward destruction both Sloan's and Stefan's relationships appear to be set out toward destruction, with Sloan misleading Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, and Stefan goofing and laying down with Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun. At the present time, E.J. DeMera, Dan Furrer Eagle, has an arrangement to assist Stefan with sidestepping charges for shooting Harris Michaels, Steve Burton, yet he'll become inebriated and admit to Chad DeMera, Billy Flynn. From that point Stefan will at last admit to the police, and Ava's now distraught at him for shooting Harris' expression of their slip-up could get to Gabby DeMera, previously Camila Banis. Stefan can barely be addressed by the DA, and he's positively not going to be addressed by Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, or Justin Kiriakis, Wally Kurth. That leaves Sloan as the main lawyer in Salem who might actually address him Salem's a piece short on legal counselors since Beauty Brady, Martha Madison, left. DOL spoilers Sloan Peterson Brady and Stefan DeMera could turn out to be close Sloan could have an example of succumbing to clients, but as how she and Eric got together imagine a scenario where she and Stefan reinforced and got sincerely close. It's very nearly a definite wager that when reality emerges and it will about Jude Brady, uncast baby, being Nicole DeMera's, Ariane Zucker, Eric will kick Sloan to the control. Similarly for Gabby, who will not endure Stefan undermining her when she's in jail for an uncertain time frame, and that could pass on Sloan and Stefan to bond sincerely. Both Brandon Barish and Jessica Surfity are presently recording, so almost certainly, both Stefan and Sloan squeak out of their charges and Sloan simply the legal counselor to make it happen. Days of our lives spoilers, they could be hot Sloan and Stefan no question could be hot were the people pulling the strings at two or three them up Eric's simply not that generous that he won't separate from Sloan and continue on. 
Gabby and Stefan's relationship began with shared disdain that went to hot sex that transformed into affection, and Sloane has serious areas of strength for a manipulative nature like Gabby. That could make for some hot simulated intercourses like Stefan and Gabby once had before he took a projectile for his mom and passed on for a couple of years. There may be two or three couplings that occur out of this storyline EJ can indict his own sibling, but is an irreconcilable circumstance. At the point when EJ's controls become known Nicole could separate from him as well and Aragol be resuscitated yet with a recast Nicole. Could Constantine's memory be off base another person shot him and Katharina, John took shots at the shooter? Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers and bits of gossip bother Constantine Melioni's, John Capello's, memory could be off base for a certain something, horrible recollections are frequently distorted. Constantine's memory had him and his girl Katharina, Ellie Patricios, in their home when John Dark, Drake Hopeston, held a firearm on them as the pawn and shot him and his little girl. Days of Our Lives spoilers Steve Johnson heard a shot however didn't see it Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, was there in Aria at the time with John, who around then was affected by conditioning as the pawn. He was outside the house, John having gone in first and heard a gunfire. Constantine, oblivious lay on the floor and Katharina was on the floor as well, she was dead however John had all the earmarks of being in a daze and holding a weapon. This was everything Steve said to Marlena Evans, Deidre Lobby, about what had occurred and John ended up strolling in subsequent to hearing. Since John was holding the firearm and in a daze, and there were two bodies on the floor one oblivious, one dead the conditional proof didn't look great. They had been sent by Victor Kiriakis, John Aniston, with a directive for Constantine, who wasn't his companion, he was his foe. DOL spoilers John Dark doesn't recollect that, he was the pawn John doesn't recollect what occurred, he was the pawn and doesn't know whether he shot either Katharina or Constantine, he doesn't recall being in Aria with Steve. However Constantine professes to recall his eyes, probably when he was holding the weapon and focusing on him, and his story has changed. At first he said John killed her before his eyes and presently he was awakening with her dead, so which is reality? Nonetheless, Constantine was oblivious and he didn't realize Katharina had been shot until he came to and Steve wasn't in there by any stretch of the imagination, he came in after it worked out. So many situations might have occurred behind those shut entryways John might have come in on one more shooter and shot at him. Days of our lives spoilers lying or misremembering? A legitimate inquiry would be in the event that Constantine is endlessly outlying, which is by all accounts his example, or on the other hand on the off chance that he's just misremembering what really happened due to injury. Without a doubt, he's coming clean about his girl being shot and killed, and it was horrible, yet what truly happened Steve saw him oblivious and the young lady dead. Then he got John out of there, not certain happened with the exception of John holding a weapon toward them and behaving like he was in a daze. In any case, since Constantine continues lying and changing his stories for his own comfort, imagine a scenario where truly happed was this. John came in, and Constantine was keeping his girl as a locked down before him and his weapon went off coincidentally they didn't stay nearby to check whether each body had its own shot. 